Doctor, when it comes to heart health, uh, what do we need to know? That's an area that, that you know, most people may not notice a lot of symptoms. You know, it's kind of interesting. What we really need to know is that inflammation is the main reason that we have heart problems today. Most people think that it's cholesterol. And I'm not saying it's not cholesterol because cholesterol is not good, cholesterol is not bad. Cholesterol puts fires out. The part that nobody ever wants to talk about is what's causing the fire. They're talking about taking an aspirin, that'll put the fire out. They're talking about taking medications to lower your cholesterol like a statin drug, which will in itself have a lot of other bad effects. But I think this is a really a wonderful visual that we're gonna have for everybody right now. This is a phosphorus heart, phosphorus inside of it. But what I think what is really amazing is, is that your heart runs by electricity. And in the human heart, it needs vitamins. And one of the vitamins that it needs is B vitamins. So B vitamins, and we have tools in our practice, we have something called an acoustic cardiogram. It's an electronic stethoscope that we can listen to heart sounds. And heart goes lub dub. But what we don't know is, or we may, but the valves closing and opening cause the lub dub noise. So in our practice, when we're looking at the graph, if we see a hesitation, and the valve closing, we know that person probably needs B vitamins. What takes B vitamins out of the body? Sugar and stress. So if we have an individual, we're looking at their diet sheet and they love to have sugar, and we've done the acoustic cardiogram, and maybe they're tired, maybe they're fatigued, maybe they have pain in their shoulder, we could do an assessment to them. And it's not a diagnostic tool, it's a nutritional tool for us to help them along the way to make wise choices. And I think another area, Scott, that creates a lot of challenges in individuals is trans fat. These happen to be plastic french fries for the purpose of the video. But trans fat, which fries are commonly cooked in today, causes inflammation in the body because it interrupts the body's ability to make a long chain fat for the heart called EPA. So we know that inflammation is an issue. So trans fat or margarine 30 or 40 years ago was supposed to be the hero. Yeah. Well, it's anything but the hero. It ended up being the villain. So we don't promote trans fat. We promote people to eat olive oil, coconut oil. They could use flax oil cold. You don't want to ever heat flax oil. So flax oil put the fire out. So will olive oil assist in putting the fire out. Now what this happens to be is our visual for the liver. This is an oil filter. So I'm gonna share some information with you that is very intriguing. When we have individuals that come into our office and we have digital x-ray in our office and we see an enlarged liver on the x-ray and then we do the heart graph, we will see a widening and a hump in that heart sound. You say, what are you telling me? What I'm saying is, is that blood flows through your legs, through the heart, on the way it has to stop at the liver. So it goes through the liver up to the heart. Well, if the liver is compromised or congested because you are taking a lot of prescription medications, you've been eating a lot of food that has been cooked in fat and you've been taking and maybe over-consuming alcohol and your liver is not functioning up to par, the blood hesitates in the liver on the way to the heart, impairing heart function. So an individual could have chronic liver issues that impact chronic heart problems. So we can tell a lot by doing a digital x-ray of something. Isn't that intriguing? Mm -hmm. A fatty liver could impair heart mm -hmm. function.